Uh, Brad, next game we have Tampa Bay plus 10 at the Rams. Hmm. I think I got to go with the Rams on this one. I think they win by 20 points against Tampa. Feeling the groove, getting the groove, being dominant. I am taking Tampa in this All one. Right. 10 points, man. It's a lot of points. The Rams, to me, they need to run the ball more. Even McVay came out this week and said, I need to run the ball more. I need to get the ball in Gurley's hands more. Um, you know, all the talk about, like, is this a running back by committee approach, um, That that's all dead and gone. Um, Gurley is dominating the carries, but the Rams just aren't really – you know, running the ball. McVay seems a little rusty, maybe a little Super Bowl hangover. He does seem a little rusty. Yeah. They, I, they, the whole team seems a little rusty. Well, I mean, they didn't play in the preseason, you know? Like, it matters. Yeah. You have to play a little in the preseason. So I guess you do, man. And I think we found that out more than more than any year this year we've yeah. seen that. Yeah, maybe two games for the starters. They got to play a little bit, but I understand it. And uh, let's say, I mean, they're three and zero, shaking the rust off, right? They're like the Packers; they haven't hit full stride yet. And when you're three and zero and you hadn't hit full stride, that's a good thing. You know, you want to peak later in the season, not yeah, early. Yeah, but so. but unlike the Packers, they they've had the same coaching staff now. It's not it's not yeah, some new regime true. with new players. It's, it's and the McVay, same machine. I don't think defenses have figured out McVeigh. I think they'll get it. They'll get it figured out. I just think they're a little rusty and they'll be fine. I wrote down. I think this is a comfortable Rams victory. I wrote down thirty-five to twenty-six. Tampa Bay can score points. Um, I wouldn't bet on this one. This one's a little too close. Um, you know, Tampa Bay plus ten there according to Bavada. It would be thirty-six to thirty-five if you add that ten in. That's too close for me. I'm not going to bet against the Rams in Los Angeles um, where they're comfortable. Um, when McVay already knows that he's not doing so well, I think they'll they'll be ready to play. Uh, I do think I like the offense in this uh, game. I think Jameis Winston, outside of that, um, I don't think he's going to have a great way, game, but I think Peyton Barber does a little bit better this week than um, Ronald Jones does. I think that, um, let's see, I think that Evans and Godwin have nice games. For the Rams, oh, and I also think that O.J. Howard, this might be a candidate week for O.J. Howard to get in the end zone there. He's been having a tough first couple of games. The Rams, I like Goff to have an okay game. I think Gurley's going to do a little bit better. I like all the receivers this week as I do every week. And this is a game where like a guy like Everett or Higby get into the end zone. So if you're looking for a daily fantasy budget play, those would be good candidates. The Los Angeles Rams tight end.